If you're looking to improve your KDP keyword research but don't have the money to invest in keyword research tools, you're probably looking for a free alternative. In this video, I'm gonna show you a completely free strategy to find the words that your competitors are using to rank for and how you can use them for your own books. So one thing to bear in mind before we jump into the actual strategy itself is any good keyword research strategy needs to be doing two things. First of all, it needs to be driving strong SEO, so long tail keywords that have really good SEO power. And secondly, that needs to be a really good reach, so it improves your book's reach with the keywords that you use. This strategy we're covering in this video is specifically gonna be focusing on the reach side of things. So these, this strategy isn't necessarily gonna enable you to rank really, really well for certain keywords. That video, or video for that is on my channel. If you look at the video where I show you how to use asincseed.com, that's a really good way of finding these long tail keywords. But this video specifically is gonna be mainly focusing on book reach. So if you combine, combine this video and the previous video I just mentioned, you will have a really good keyword research strategy. The one thing we're gonna be focusing on here in today's video is um, word clouds. So for those of you that don't know, word clouds are just essentially a way of visualizing loads of text data. All you need to do is put a load of text into a word cloud generator and the bigger the word that appears in the word cloud basically means it appears more frequently in the text. So we're going to be using our competitors titles and subtitles to find the keywords that are using the uh, most in their, as I say, their titles and their subtitles and then pinching those words to improve our book's reach. So this is a really simple strategy and the first thing you need to do is go to Amazon and find as many of the competitors books in your niche as possible. So for the example in this video we're just going to go for animal coloring book for kids. I'm going to pretend we're making um, an animal coloring book for kids. So that's the kind of the niche we're going to be um, <clears throat> looking to, to get some competitors keywords for in here. So animal coloring book for kids. If you're doing a book for kids, make sure you include the for kids bit in the in the search because otherwise you're gonna be grabbing keywords for animal coloring books that are for adults as well. And obviously we wanna be as niche and specific as possible. So make sure when you're actually doing your research here, you are as specific as you possibly can be when searching for competitors, titles and subtitles. And what I'm gonna do now here, is go through and look at the BSRs of the of the books that are coming up here and take all the, all the title and subtitle of books that have a BSR under 100,000, aka they're kind of selling at a good rate and are specifically related to animal coloring book for kids. And what I'm gonna do then is drop those into a word cloud generator. So once I've done that, I'll be back over and show you exactly what to do next. So I'm back having got all of that data now. And what you wanna do is just go over to freewordcloudgenerator.com and then just copy and paste all of your titles and subtitles that you've just found from your books into this box here. You can see there's quite a lot of information here because I have found quite a few titles and subtitles from my competitors. But obviously the more information you can give this, the better your data. So ideally just get as many titles and subtitles as you possibly can into here. And then just press visualize. And what that's gonna do is generate the word cloud for us. And you'll probably be a bit confused and there's no surprise really that the most commonly occurring words are things like book, coloring, both spelling variations of that, kids, animals, but they're not the ones we're really looking at here. It's the kind of the outliers and the slightly smaller words that we're looking for. So preschool, for example, for those of you in America, preschool is kind of the school before like your very first um, school in, in England. Um, things like unique is a good keyword to have in here. Illustrations, toddlers, zoo. So you can kind of see these outlying keywords that are actually ranking really well and are gonna massively improve your book reach because there are so many individual words here. You're not necessarily gonna rank top for any of these words. You're not gonna rank top for the keyword book, but because you've got so many different kind of variations of keywords in there, you're gonna have a massive reach for your book. So like I said, that's that second pillar of a good keyword research strategy. Is this is gonna massively improve your book's reach and it's such a simple way of just kind of collecting loads of data and presenting it in a really easy to format uh, version. So what you need to do now is go to word list and you can see here the frequency of each word and how often it comes up in the data. So go through, take all of these keywords and then just drop them into um, your keyword boxes. Put them as many of them in as you possibly as you possibly can. Obviously things like kids, book, coloring animals, I'm assuming they're gonna be already in your title and your subtitles, so don't worry too much about those, but it's these ones down here that are gonna be really important for you. So put those in kind of maybe your final four keyword boxes and leave your first three keyword boxes to really specific long tail keywords that you can get through the previous video that I showed you using asincseed.com. So um, I will leave a link to that video in the description below if you wanna go check that out. But by combining these two methods, you should have a really good free keyword research strategy it's also important to remember that your keywords research is never gonna be as good if you have free software compared to the paid tools. The paid tools are by far the best in my opinion. But if you do want a free alternative, there's two videos there for you now that you can kind of check back to 
and use both of these for your keyword research strategy. So that's a really simple way of doing some keyword research to improve your book's reach. If you did enjoy this video, then please do leave a like and also subscribe for more KDP content and I will see you in the next one.